to Vlogmas Day 12. It is Saturday the 12th of December. We've had an early lunch here. Andrew is working himself this weekend, so it means he can get on and get started and hopefully get finished up on, on reasonable time for Saturday evening. I have done my last uh, chores in the kitchen that I, I wanted to get done for the weekend and you'll have seen that and I am ready now to have the afternoon to myself. I want to do some of my cross stitch. I want to get my Dance Like No One's Watching Coil uh, schemed up and into a project bag and ready for starting later on. I also want to share with you my knitting and the progress that I've made yesterday. If you've watched my vlogs last year or some of the podcasts, you'll know that um, the Christmas, the Sunday before Christmas is always our family lunch. Uh, this year, I am hoping it happens. Uh, it will all depend on how everyone is this week. The restrictions allow us to meet together for a few days over Christmas, but um, I'm living in anticipation and hoping that it will it will happen. We'll see. But I'm going to plan the menu anyway and it can all be frozen if we don't need it. But here's hoping. Uh, so Starter, I decided to uh, make some pate type uh, dish. Andrew seen this on cookery program last Sunday and uh, he gave me the idea. So I find a recipe in the Aga book. It's the really the champo, campo, um, I think it's called. Um, it's a basic pork type patty um, with simple ingredients like some, uh, well, it, it calls for cider, but I'm using uh, apple juice, um, thyme, cloves, uh, butter, nutmeg, some garlic. So it's not complicated ingredients and the main meat is just pork. It's the one that's served in the little ramekin dishes. So that'll work really, work really well uh, portion wise. And I'm going to serve it with some sourdough. And then for the main course, I have decided to do a uh, lamb, a uh, joint of lamb and uh, some stuffed pork. And I just was basically looking for a different recipe for the uh, pork stuffing. And I came up with, um, this here it it's just an apple and nut stuffing um so basically the only ingredients that are different is the apple some celery and some peanuts um and i am going to make it for um for the pork roll and i'll also make just my traditional stuffing for the plate um the children wouldn't have a meal without it so I enjoy making it and then for dessert I am doing traditional Christmas pudding and that's what I've spent the last few minutes doing I am just going to put these cookbooks away and get organized to head down to my craft room so I'm going to pop off get on with the rest of my afternoon and we'll pop in a little bit later on see you later Good evening, I'm just popping in again this evening to wrap up the vlog and um, as I said I would do, I would show you show you my uh, knitting update from yesterday. So I got my mittens complete. So there you have mitten one and two. I am super pleased with them. Uh, they were a pleasure to knit, the yarn was a pleasure to knit with. And the pattern was just so well written and uh, easy to follow. So there they are. And it's cold, so they will keep me keep me nice and warm. So I'm really pleased to have to have them finished. And I now have um my lovely Robin project bag to tidy up and put put away. So I also this afternoon then, I also um, got uh, my yarn skeined up for 
the Dance Like No One's Watching, Kyle. It is beautiful yarn. It is so soft and uh, I love the colours in it. As I said, I was going to put this alpaca silk in with it. Um, I'll see. I'll knit a few rows and see how they go. And uh, if I need to get something, need to get something else, I will. I don't want to ruin this lovely yarn. So just to show you the pattern then, that's the pattern by my lovely friend Lindsay, who is Stitch Create Love on Instagram and on Ravelry. And she also has um, some lovely Vlogmas up as well, so go, go check that out. So then I did some work on my socks. I have the two of them now to the same stage. I'm just working my way down the working my way down the toe. Oops. Um, the green um, that is in between each colourway is starting to change, which is quite quite nice um because I think we're going to be coming into some bright colours now so that's that's lovely uh, I'll just work my way do a couple of stripes and work my way down the the toe I'll have these finished I mean I could have them finished by tomorrow if I wanted to so we'll see what takes my fancy this evening what I decide to decide to knit on you know what it's like when you cast something new on it takes a wee bit of concentration so um if I'm feeling lazy and there's something good on TV, I might just do a wee bit of work on these. So that's it. I just want to wrap today's vlog up now. Um, I also want to say just that uh, Mr. Claus didn't appear in yesterday's vlog. I thought I had a note up in the description bar, but uh, it wasn't. But the note is there now, and I really apologise for that. But be rest assured, he appears twice today in vlogmas day 12 so you'll still have uh, 25 opportunities to find Mr Claus so I hope you all have a lovely evening and that you um, enjoy whatever your evening holds for you and tomorrow is Carol day so I have another nice Carol to share with you and I will see you all again then you probably won't see me tomorrow probably see you all again on Monday so have a lovely weekend, keep safe and I will see you then.